What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about Faraday Future. I want to go over some of the current data points, break it down on what is really happening, and just my general thoughts on Faraday. Before we get into any of that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. Starting off, Faraday at the time of doing this video is down 7.81%, 415 the low, 455 the high, relatively low volume, so 2.9 million shares being traded, 14.79 is the average. And so you are seeing rather low volume, so big money isn't really buying this dip for Faraday. And just generally, these are the transactions over the last 90 days on the secondary market. So there was one transaction today for 141. Regrettably, it was a sell based on the bid, the ask and the selling price. So big money is not really looking at Faraday, despite everything. And just to kind of go over one thing, well, this is going to be the basis of kind of this conversation uh, for the most part. But even looking at my watch list, subtract Nike. There's one common thing between Lucid, Vinfast, Faraday, and Mullen. All of them have convertible debt. And for those people that maybe do not understand this, I like to educate as best as I can. But what I have found with Faraday, it is very similar to like a lot of cult like stocks like AMC, GameStop and whatever else you get a lot of people that should not be investing and pretty much should not be having a voice such as this guy on Reddit mindless vacation. I just kind of came across him recently seems to be barking quite a lot. And yeah, he is extremely mind blowingly bullish on absolutely everything like honestly pushes this narrative. So individuals like this should not be investing. That's just my own recommendation. You guys do whatever the hell you want. But people like this will go down with the ship. That's not how investing is. And that's not how investing should be. And a lot of people seem to think that there is this infinite battle against hedge funds. Let me just be very clear to you guys. Hedge funds do not give a shit about Faraday at all. One thing, like I just said, common denominator between all of this is the companies themselves are going and leaning towards convertible debt. And I did bring up in my last video this aspect. I highlighted it again. People think I'm making shit up. It is fucking on their like earnings. It it's this is it. Like what the hell on earth is being made up? Right here, as of I think it's June 30th, 2024, there's still uh, roughly 211.3 remaining to be funded. And so, of course, very simple math that remains constant. If the share price of Faraday goes down, they get more shares. So, essentially, a lot of these entities that do have notes do have a financial interest in Faraday going down because they get more shares. It is a easy win win for them. And to be honest, a lot of people say, why would they want them Faraday to go down? Why would they want Lucid or any stock to go down? They don't give a shit. They're getting it their money. All they do is convert. And if they really want it, they can just sell on the open market instantly and rinse and repeat, right? Because what they would do convert shares sell which adds selling pressure and then they just simply convert again they are getting this money one way or another the only one that loses is retail individuals that hold and i think that is just what a lot of these type of people mindless vacation many many more do not understand so and i kind of feel bad because this 211 can be uh, converted this principle so the 78.6 million that actually comes from cash. So most likely the note holders are going to be losing out on this because Faraday, they won't have any cash to fulfill this. So um, again, they just announced that uh, deal recently about 30 million uh, subtract admin fees. I think it's 28.5 or whatever else. That's still not going to fulfill this, right? So yeah, it's just a lot of people do not understand this. And so ultimately, the reason why Faraday is going down is because of this and that there is dilution. A lot of people love just to say, oh, you're FUD, which honestly, I could really give a sh not two shits about what you guys think of me. Uh, all I'm doing is just reading the information, trying to educate as best as I can. And I kind of find it funny. Once in a while, I kind of get argumentative and 
kind of get the bulls on Reddit or someone in general just to say, prove me wrong. How does someone justify? So when I say that there's dilution, someone says, no, there's not, there's not dilution. How, if there's 12 million in the outstanding share count, how could there be 153 million shares being traded in one day? How could there be constantly 69, 20, 20, 77, 26? Like, what the flying fuck? Are people dumb? Like, that is not the case. And again, um, a lot of people just like to say, well, it's naked shorting, all this other crap, it's synthetics. Like, Faraday, based on options, there's just to educate once again a little bit of uh, FYI, synthetics typically is held and can be kind of lost in translation through ETFs as well as options. Dollar value in options for Faraday has gone down dramatically. And as far as I'm aware, I think there's just one or two ETFs that own Faraday and they're basically non-existent, hardly any shares. So that's not how shares are getting lost in translation whatsoever. So this definitely is the reason why Faraday is going to go down. And the fact that they did recently kind of do this deal of that 30 million shows that they are still relying on that. And like I brought up pretty much a year is kind of uh, ironic a little bit. So September 2023, they came out with news saying that they are going to be not going towards these toxic debt financing uh, situations to help shareholders to regain shareholder value. That was their thing um, in September, October, and partially November to save shareholders. Clearly right now, management does not give a shit. And I've been saying this since it got uh, very hyped up. Day one, when it started to get uh, move higher in May, I said, this is very, very exciting, but I do not trust management. And simply put, this is just not good. These are just seen as lifelines, payday loans, but when it comes down to paying, do you know who is going to really pay? Individuals like this, Mindless Vacation, or anyone else he suckers in to buying kind of pushing this false bullish narrative so yes i get it i am bearish but i'm trying to educate if you are invested in the in faraday take this as a learning lesson um, because again just going back over here there is a reason why these stocks are how they are and just so you're aware if you kind of look at the similarities between vinfast for instance and uh, faraday they do have some commonalities so one of which is yorkville research or uh, i do highly recommend you guys researching yorkville so yes even though faraday does go up it does have the ability many stocks don't just go down right there is kind of pushes higher but generally you cannot argue with the trend so unless you are a day trader and you're very good at catching the bottom um, generally this speaks for itself even over the last five years like this is, the writing is on the wall. So if anyone is trying to tell you otherwise, just do your own due diligence. Again, I really don't give a shit what you guys are doing. If you guys want to buy Faraday, have at it. But don't say that people do not warn you on this because this goes over right here, what was actually fulfilled. So all this damage in so far, pretty much 2024, when the volume and the outstanding share count went up tenfold, that was because of 343 million. So essentially, now with lower prices, they still have to do another 211 million. So this is where most likely, instead of it being 12 million for the current outstanding share count, realistically, I think it should be at probably 50 to maybe 80. Um, again, all depends on many different factors, but. That's what I am uh, estimating for the current outstanding share count. So once the market does realize that, so the next disclosure from Faraday on the outstanding share count, that will be most likely the next big dagger. And actually, conveniently, you actually see Yorkville right here. So research Yorkville, very, very, very damaging. Um, some people just like to target anything they touch and short it. So just uh, do your own due diligence at the end of the day. But aside from that, those shorts are increasing around 23,000 shares. 16.12% of the free flow is being shorted. Works out to be 1.98 million shares. 
Cost of borrow average is 222.41%, so very high stuff. And this is kind of the current outlook for Faraday. So 208,000 in calls, 183,000 in puts. So yeah, that's a pretty uh, little bit more of a summary of exactly what is happening with Faraday and just my general thoughts on just this. So the convertible aspect of all their notes and Faraday's seeming like reliance on that so let me know your thoughts don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that and uh, one final thing make sure you guys definitely take advantage of this promo simply sign up for a new account throw 100 dollars at it they give you five free stocks each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars link to that is in the description below and also the comments with all that appreciate all of you watching